All right, I just I just gave this some heavy thought because I've been I've known what I will have to write up on my Facebook on my 42nd birthday and I've been contemplating uh you know if I should give any warning of what that message is. I've hinted at a little bit what it would be, but I haven't said specifically what the consequences are of it if no one contacts me by my birthday. And I've spent the last, you know, several months thinking well, no one will respond, uh, probably anyways, because free dumb of speech is pretty much anyone that speaks English. They can't say how they feel. I have no connection spiritually with God anymore. I mean, some of them say they're practicing Christians or believers or whatever. They don't fucking believe in anything. Believe in human sacrifice. You don't believe in God if you believe that shit. That's for certain. Believe someone created you if you believe someone died for you. Mixing a death and life is against the rules. Um, anyways, the consequences. If I don't have one world leader of any country, um, you know, the Philippines, fucking any king of, you know, Saudi Arabia, yeah. I don't care who it is. There's a, what is there? 180 nations or 190 nations or whatever island countries. Like if you're a province that, if you're a colony, I don't give a fuck. A colony of Great Britain, I don't give a shit. Any fucking leader or any Republican governor in the United States, the one person talks to me by my 42nd birthday, June 3rd of this year, China time. Don't wait till the last minute. Because I'm going to post that shit as soon as it turns my birthday. So I don't have to worry about it. It's the last fucking message I have to give to the world. Then my job's completely done. <clears throat> as far as being a messenger. Um, I don't have to tell the world a goddamn thing that God's going to do anymore after that. But the message that is going to be, the consequences are going to be, that out there, Stan Lee was God's third Lifetime here. Out there, where we're going to need as many villains as possible to fight. And each time a soul is rebirthed down here, after they die, we get another villain, right? Come my 42nd birthday, no one talks to me. All those souls, sometime in the next generation or, or two after that, I don't know if they're on their last life or they being born again, and, you know, then it's their laugh tut life. But those souls are going to be continually trapped down and being rebirthed again on this planet forever. And they're going to be locked in at some point, whether it's their current life now, or they're, they just are in the process of being born again. At some point, they're going to have to be on their last life. And their soul, because they've had so many terrible Lifetimes prior to that, and you know who these people are. That person just never would listen to their parents. That person has just had a jealous life their entire fucking life. All they want to do is take advantage of people or steal peop from people so they can brag about or be bullies or whatever. You know this attitude? The world, at some point, is going to have to decide to kill these people at birth. To euthanize them at birth. The consequences of that, if your people get getting pregnant, and this goes for everybody outside of the Orient, which is all of India, all of China, all of Asia, including the continent of India, everyone else, at some point, generation or so after my death, or generation after my 42nd birthday, actually, at some point, the world leaders, because they refuse to have just one conversation with me, any single one of them, some point the world's gonna have to come together and all they're going to have to do is put that responsibility into the doctor's hands that you know the women bear the children they'll be able to tell just by looking at that baby's eyeballs when it comes out of the womb well, what soul it is and they can either immediately kill it then throw it in the garbage and have to change all your laws for abortion so it can be done the day of birth 
you're also going to have it be obvious as to who these people are based on the names their parents want to give that child and what those names mean. So there'll be two ways you can know who needs to be put to death because their soul will be locked forever into the soul that they have already created for themselves from all the previous lifetimes they've had. All they're going to want to do if given another life, is to find their way into something to fuck people over. And at a certain point, you start killing these children, you're going to have to keep killing them forever. If you ever get one, say you implement all those things, you start wiping these children out as soon as they're born. If you ever get one that's born at home, the mother wants to hide it, and everyone else is fairly nice and kind to everyone. And then you get one person has an attitude unlike anyone else. Hundreds of years from now. The world would have forgotten that type of attitude. Right? That person will spread the idea of naivete. Naivete. Start taking advantage of people. Maybe you become a world leader. Maybe fucking kill everybody again. Imagine, just one rotten apple. To spoil the bunch. A thousand years from now. A world leader doesn't contact me. Just one. By my 42nd birthday. That will be the consequence. For the entirety. Of the rest of this planet. Until the sun burns out, you know. Hundreds of millions of years from now, or however long it is. Just one bad apple can spoil the bunch of you again. For thousands and thousands of years, or go around and kill everybody, or establish another nation and cause genocides, and that's where you'll be at. The consequences of that. The consequences of that, guys, in its entirety. I mean, it's it's almost too much to bear thinking about it. That's why I haven't spent too much time. I just did in the last hour. I spent some deep thought on thinking about whether I wanted to wait till my 42nd birthday to type that up. Or wait until a couple of days to get some morning, hopefully... Someone contacted me, and then I decided, oh, I need to, I need to spell it out now in a video. So when it comes to my Facebook, when I sit down on my 42nd birthday and I type it up, exactly that in a few short sentences, well, then it's fucking game over. I'll probably pre-write it and just copy-paste it to my Facebook at fucking midnight on the 2nd of June. So, the Masons... Born in June, the Masons just, you know, shake someone's hand, say you'll do something. That's how we built everything around the world. All the pyramids, Jerusalem City, fucking all those great structures. The Masons. Oh, uh, you got the first level, sixth level, fucking 17th level of fucking stone masonry, all these secret handshakes. No, no, no. Shake a man's hand, another man shakes another man's hand, says he'll do something, you, you fucking do it. No questions asked. Started stabbing everybody in the back. I mean, they fed me to pigs. I was the first fucking guy to marry a Scottish woman. Fed me to fucking pigs. In Scotland. Fucking haggis. So, you know what? I mean, taught the whole world to believe in human sacrifice for 2,000 years. I mean, as many people as I could teach. You know, it didn't really affect the Orient too much. But they still have built some churches here. Well... Now what you now you get what you deserve as a, as a planet. Now you get what you deserve. So that's going to be that. Come my forty second birthday, you're going to have to identify these souls at birth. 